To balance this equation, H2SO3 plus NaOH, let's count the atoms up on each side. We have two hydrogen atoms, and then this SO3, it's a polyatomic ion, and we have it here, it stays together, we have it here. So we're going to count this as one item, and that'll make the balancing a good bit easier for us. So we have one SO3, one Na, and then we have one oxygen. And I forgot to count the hydrogen here with NaOH. So we have the two plus the one. So be careful there, three hydrogen atoms. On this side of the equation, we have two hydrogen atoms. We have one sulfite ion, two sodiums, and then the one oxygen here. Let's start by balancing the sodiums and see what that does. If we put a two in front of the sodium hydroxide, that would mean we'd have one times two. That would give us two sodiums. Those would be balanced. Oxygens, one times the two, two oxygens. And then hydrogens, let's update those again. So I have the two here, plus I have one times two. I have a total of four hydrogen atoms. If we were to put a two in front of the H2O, this two applies to everything, two times two, that gives us four hydrogens. Those are balanced. And then one times the two for the oxygen, that gives us two, those are balanced, and we're done. This equation is balanced. So by counting this sulfite ion, this SO3 ion here, because it appears on both sides, that makes it a good bit easier to balance this equation. This is Dr. B with the balanced equation for sulfurous acid plus sodium hydroxide. Thanks for watching.